A hey, what up, Ty1822? Oh, man. Chris Jericho, CM Punk. This feud right here, this could be the best feud of the year. I mean, you got these two guys, CM Punk, Chris Jericho, huge fan base, the internet fans. They wanted to see this match even before Chris Jericho made his return. Chris Jericho called himself the best in the world. CM Punk, the best in the world. All the ingredients is right there for a great potential feud. But one thing, WWE, please don't drop the ball on this feud right here. Because a lot of fans will be so disappointed. These two guys can work the microphone, can go in the ring. That's all y'all need. But if they drop the ball, man, woo, like I said, big fell. And, man, let me tell you something. This right here should be so good. You saw on Monday Night Raw, Chris Jericho was saying how everybody was a wannabe, including CM Punk, calling himself the best in the world, saying, I don't got to put it on back of my T-shirt. CM Punk, show him the belt, let the belt speak for himself, and saying, yeah, I am the best in the world. I mean, I'm looking forward to this feud more than The Rocks, uh, John Cena, Undertaker, Triple H. This the feud I am so interested in. I mean, it should be so, so, so good. I mean, I don't know who I want to root for, Chris Jericho or Sam Punk. I'm huge fans of both of them. And I know a lot of fans, you know, got to choose a side too. A lot of them not really choosing a side yet because there's a lot of diehard Sam Punk fans. But they are also diehard Chris Jericho fans. I mean, I've been a Chris Jericho fan since the 90s. I mean, <laughs> that's difficult. But, I mean, I hope WWE give these two guys the freedom in this storyline to write a little bit of their own stuff. Because even Chris Jericho said his feud with Shawn Michaels, the last one they had, they gave those two guys freedom in their storyline to ask a couple things to the storyline that they wanted to do. And the writers didn't just write Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho, they had their own little parts in it themselves. So I hope WWE do that because, and you already have a name for the match. Who's the best in the world? Who is the best at what they do at WrestleMania 20 for the WWE title? It's right there. I mean, come on, you, have the, you got the storyline set already for everything. Because all the fans already know it's about who's the best in the world. So that storyline right there, who's the best in the world, is right there. And the only thing WWE got to do is make sure they build it up right, slowly, don't mess it up at all. Because these two guys are good at what they do. So it should be excellent. I mean, I just can't wait for the, the mic work to start happening between these two guys. I think Punk will give Jericho the taste of his own medicine of trolling him and he'll see how it feel and that's how I think the feud will start off like that way when it really gets get into gear so man WWE please don't drop the ball with CM Punk and Chris Jericho because like I said this could be feud of the year and it's the one I'm looking forward to so that's all I can say on Chris Jericho CM Punk who is the best in the world WrestleMania 20 that's the name right there in WWE better run with that name so give me your thoughts on Chris Jericho, CM Punk, this upcoming feud at WrestleMania 20. Because we all know it's going to happen. No way in hell WWE going to troll us again and throw a curveball. And it won't be CM Punk, Chris Jericho. It will happen. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.